the channel, we got a little bit of deja vu with the ringside collectibles chase edition Monaro Suzuki. <laughs> Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Storm Collectibles ringside exclusive Minoru Suzuki unboxing and review. But today, we're taking a look at the Chase version that is only available on ringside collectibles. And if you want this, well, you gotta go to ringside collectibles and you gotta use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Gotta get a deal out there. Now, Suzuki, no stranger to the channel here as we did unbox the regular edition. Still a little bit of a gray area if that's only going to be ringside or if that's going to be everywhere. But as far as my eyes can see right now, you can only get the regular edition at ringside collectibles as well. But we'll see what happens in the future. But definitely this Chase Edition ringside collectible exclusive has the big sticker on the front. The other one did not have. So a point of difference there. Uh, and it depends. How do you like your Suzuki? You like him in black? You like him in white? You like him with blonde hair? You like him with black hair? Choose your own Minoru Suzuki adventure as we all do on a daily basis, I guess. But we're, of course, going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, there's old Suzuki in the package. Very similar packaging except for that sticker change like we talked about. Uh, one thing, as I always do say with these Storm Collectibles, beautiful figures. Some of my absolute favorite figures in the world are Storm Collectible figures. I just hate that extra cellophane. I know it's protecting the figure, but it's just terrible for you min box collectors. Just looks a little strange, if you ask me, but very cool packaging design. Very slim, very sleek design. On the side, you got Suzuki looking only like a Suzuki could look if he was wearing his black tights, but unfortunately, this is the white one. So, it uh, depends what you like. Once again, this is the Chase in white. Wish they would have added white on this, but uh, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? So, there it is right there. And on the back of the package, we get Suzuki looking only like a Suzuki could look once again. What do we got going on? It is the exact same packaging as the other one, except for the sticker. That is the only difference. But it is showing him in the black and all that kind of stuff going on. But very good. I do like the packaging. I do like a lot about this. But let's get this out of the packaging. Let's see what's going on with this white version, this chase version. And I guess that background uh, uh, wording is Suzuki Gun, I was told in the other review. So apparently that is, uh, well, not apparently, but that is his faction over there in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Now we got old Suzuki right there. Of course, you got the double plastic prison going on. You got all the hands, got the head, got a lot going on. Wow, I was not expecting this. It looks like the towel is white in this edition. So I really do like that. Uh, any point of difference between chases, I absolutely love. I don't care if we're talking AEW chases. We're talking uh, WWE chases. See you later. Uh, any chase we're talking about, uh, I'm here for it all day long. And uh, here's another one to infinity and beyond. See you later. There you go. And can I get all this out? That's the question. Without losing stuff. Whoa! We're losing stuff, and I don't want to lose the tongue again. I should have been more careful. And what do you know? I lost the tongue again. You got to be kidding me. Oh, there it is. Jeez, this tongue. I absolutely love the idea of this tongue, but I absolutely hate the idea of this tongue. And I guess we'll talk about it here in a second. But off to the races. See you later. Splitting it right there. Off to the side. Let's talk about all these accessories, tongue included. We'll talk about that as well. Uh, but we do get the towel once again with Suzuki. I love, love, love getting these towels. As I talked about early, earlier, I guess uh, f some of the most famous towel users in wrestling. You got Suzuki. Of course, you got Taz. Some might say Bob Backlund. See you later. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You tell me who is a famous towel user in wrestling. But you do get the Suzuki towel in white this time. Nice against the black. Have these guys side by side. Another point of difference. I'm here for that. One thing that is not a point of difference is the different hands. All the same hands we saw prior. We got the kind of mangled open hands going on. You got the karate chopping hands or the uh, chop hands, you know, the old chop. Uh, you got some of that. You got, of course, the finger pointing hands. Everybody loves good finger point. Uh, and then you do got the two kind of splayed out hands looking all crazy. And then you do got kind of modified gripping hands. We'll call it that, modified gripping hands. Then we get the tongue o doom, and I love the idea of this tongue, but I hate the idea of this tongue. As you guys saw in the other review, dumped everything out, the tongue went flying, went down onto the floor, into the carpet, 
Luckily, I found it. Uh, and then we do get another tongue right here. But man, oh man, easily lost. Very small. Got to believe five years from now, let's call it. People are going to be selling this one loose. Hey, they moved on from their collection, whatever it may be. You got to make sure the tongue comes with this. Because if it is missing the tongue, it is not complete. So that is one thing to take note of. But very, very cool idea. And of course, the tongue goes in the head. You can pull it out, take it in. Really makes it an extra head in some ways. It's two different versions of the same head when you add the tongue and you take the tongue out. But now let's get down to it. Let's get down to the heads. Let's get down to the Suzuki figure here. And I guess we'll start with the heads. Now, once again, we get the exact same head. You get the open mouth one. You get the stoic head. The stoic head, very, very good. The beautiful thing of having two of these, one being a chase, one being regular, you can use both heads. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use one with the stoic head, one with the one with the tongue in its head. That's how I'm going to go that way. But you could take it another one, have another one displayed without the tongue in the head. You could do that as well. Uh, but definitely the big difference between these two heads and the regular version is the gold uh, platinum hair, the, the dyed hair on this one. Luckily, he's got a good tan to go against that hair and the tights because white's a tough look. you got to be a Rick Martel, a Tito Santana, have a good tan going on to be able to wear this uh, white stuff. Uh, but Suzuki, he pulls it off, at least in action figure form here. Beautiful head sculpts. You know exactly who this is. If you're familiar with the character, if you're familiar with the guy, you're going to know who this is if somebody hands you these heads. Looks really, really good. I'm here for it, but definitely different in the white. And theoretically, you could put the dark-haired one on this and vice versa. So you can really mix and max, mix and match. You can mix and match your towels as well if you really wanted to. Let's look at the Suzuki figure here. He does have the white uh, wristbands. He does have those, the same one we saw with uh, the black trunks version, of course. The big difference is the boots and the trunks being in white instead of all black. Uh, you got white with the black shoelaces. You got white with the black lines instead of the red here. Very, very similar, but very, very different at the same time, as you can imagine. But let's walk through the articulation. Of course, the arms do go all the way around. You got those butterfly joints always looking good. You got a bicep cut, double jointed, pinless elbows playing all the hits. Hands back and forth, side to side. Hands, of course, are removable, head removable, side to side, up and down. Love all that. Then you do get the waist articulation. You do get the upper torso a little bit there. Uh, I do always like this. I always like the chest on these guys. They just feel really good. Of course, they do feel rubbery, kind of like a diaper from a McFarlane Toys figure, maybe a little bit. Uh, you do get some of that in the crotch and some of that in the chest, but it does work. Some of the best figures I've ever had in the wrestling headspace, of course, the Liger figures. Absolutely love those. I love some of the Mortal Kombat Storm figures, the Golden Axe figures. Just really, really good, strong design figures and really, really cool looking as well. Would love to. I say it all the time. Get me the Road Warriors. Get me the Great Muda. Get me things like that. Ultimo Dragon. Give me him in the Storm Collectibles, because I think they're just dying for Storm Collectibles in all the variants they make. Somebody like Muda, Ultimo Dragon, the Road Warriors would just be absolutely fantastic in this line. Maybe one day we can uh, keep our fingers crossed. Uh, continuing on with articulation, you can do some Suzuki splits if need be. You do get double jointed pinless knees here for that. You guys know ankles back and forth, up and down, and then you got that toe articulation. So pivotal, so much needed in uh, the action figure form as we do know. We love the good old toe articulation. Very, very cool. Of course, he is not going to fit on a ringside stand as he does not have holes in his feet, so you're just going to have to make him stand. But they always stand pretty good for Storm Collectibles, I've always found. So he definitely looks really good. You do compare him to the regular version here. It just really is pick your poison. Which Suzuki do you like better? I think they made the right call at Storm Collectibles making this one the chase because I think most people, when they close their eyes at night before their head hits the pillow, they think of Suzuki, they think of this version. They don't necessarily think of the blonde version with the white tights, but it is cool to get both versions. I don't know when we'll ever get another Suzuki figure. Uh, our best bet would have to be AEW Jazzwares, but would they tip their toe in the water on that one? Uh, was he there? Is he under contract for that kind of stuff? Who knows? So I think we've got to settle with Storm Collectibles for now. Uh, if you want to check out my other video with him, of course, I did all the comparisons under the sun from Mattel, AEW, uh, Super 7, and then, of course, other Storm Collectible figures. So we compared the height and sizes of that Suzuki against those. So I'll save that for this video. This is more between these two right here, which basically identical style figures here. But very cool, the posability, uh, the playability, the functionality of these guys moving things around, switching heads, switching hands. Very, very cool, very awesome. And of course, like I said, you can only get these guys over at Ringside Collectibles. And why wouldn't you use discount code Kyle? Save yourself 10% more. As these aren't super cheap figures, they're going to cost you about two new Elites, two new Jazzwares figures. 
but you get what you pay for at the end of the day. Of course, a much more limited run, especially this one, a little bit higher price point, much limited run. Uh, one of those things years from now, uh, if you're investing in toys, which I never really recommend to do, uh, you could uh, maybe pick him up as a future investment or a future trade bait offering. Who knows? And who knows what the future holds for Suzuki? I'm not super familiar with him. Like I've said before on the channel, Pan Craze is really where I know Suzuki from. So maybe they'll give us a Pan Craze version. But I'm not sure if there's any other versions of him that Storm Collectibles would come out with. Uh, and I don't know if any more are honestly needed. So I think these two is a nice little collection inside a collection. I think this does work for me. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? You picking up both versions? You passing totally? Or are you picking and choosing? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Give this video the old thumbs up. It always helps the channel. And make sure you subscribe to this very YouTube channel as we got videos every single day and then some. And tons more to come as you guys are fully aware. And don't forget to follow along over on Patreon where you get early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. A lot going on over the old Patreon channel. And best of all, you do support the channel and content like this. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Hit me up. Follow along at SirPaul64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Suzuki, I am Kyle. And I'll see you guys all real soon.